yeah, 70 odd thousand. Oh, he's special, he's missing today. No, Grandad. Grandad Daryl. He would be here, but we sadly lost him last year. So it's, it's, it's quite an emotional day, but we're, we're here for Grandad, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, because he was a big Bolton fan, wasn't he? Yeah. And he nervous, but very excited. Um, it's massive. We've not been here for, I don't know, it's ages now, but it's massive for me and the club. There's only one winner here today, and they're going to be in the green. Come on, come on, Bolton! How many have you got? Huh? Uh, well, there's three of us going, there's three coming the other two. Oh, I'll see you in a minute anyway. There's nothing wrong with being nervous. Here, here gentlemen, behind the yeah. unforgiving but can be so uplifting if it all works out in your favour. So much movement in the middle, it's a brilliant hit! Dempsey again, room for Charles, two for Bolton! They just have not settled so far, we've seen loose touches, they haven't got themselves on the ball, Plymouth. Once again, it's really nicely played, and Hardy oh so close. Dempsey and Charles on target, Bolton on top at the break. Look, it's an opportunity, the best thing about this for Plymouth Argyle, that it's only 2-0. I expect the response in the second half, and like I said, timing-wise, perfect. 2-0 at the break, and he's got an opportunity to change things around. It's a gift for Elias Kachunga, and he finishes it!
Vale. Troubled times firmly behind them. From the threat of liquidation to jubilation at the home of football, the last few years have been a real roller coaster ride. Unbridled Bolton Wanderers joy as they lift the Papa John's trophy in 2023. Unbelievable! I think uh, look how many fans came out today. Um, amazing day for the for the club after yeah, such a long time to win again something. Uh, yeah, unbelievable! White Army! White Army! You know what? Yeah, yeah, it hasn't sunk in yet. But I think tomorrow when I look at some pictures and stuff, maybe I might get a, a tea or two. But you never know. Now nah, it feels amazing, man. I'm proud of everyone, proud of this whole club, and especially the boys in the gaffer. I think we deserve this, man. For your goal as well. Bit of an emotional celebration as well. Just, just talk about that moment. Yeah, no, it's been, it's been emotional for myself. Like obviously, past, my mum passed away last year with motor neuron disease, and it's been a difficult 18 months or so uh, since my mum was first diagnosed. But honestly, without this club, I won't be playing football right now. Because when it happened, I could have, I could have quit football. But I've got my family here. Um, everyone's here to support me. It's been an emotional day, but that goes for my mum. Bolton Wanderers fans. I'm so happy that we've managed to, to win the trophy for you, win the cup for you. We've all deserved this. We've been through so much hurt as a, as a football club the last few years, but we've stuck together. We've built over the last few years as well since I've come in. And yeah, you, you all deserve this day. So enjoy it. Uh, and I'll see you on Friday at Exeter. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.